this week on Sport Fishing, we're down in Rosarita at the Rosarita Beach Hotel. And we'll be out here looking for our surf perch. I just made my first cast of the day and I got bit. Looks like I got a little fish here. Let's see what I got. We did a show here about five, six years ago. We got all kinds of perch. It was a lot of fun. There we go. Here's a little barred perch. So this is what we'll be doing on this week's episode of Sport Fishing. Catching surf perch, hopefully we'll get some bigger ones than this. But for my first cast, not too bad. Stay tuned for this week's exciting episode of Sport Fishing. I'm Dan Hernandez and I live to fish. All right. I have been fishing along the Pacific coast my entire life. Oh. Let me bring you in in the action and share with you some great fishing tips along the way. I just drove down here from uh, Cerritos, my office. We're in Rosarito, right in front of the Rosarito Beach Hotel. And that's the hotel right there. We're on their property. It's a great place to come down, bring the family, and go surf fishing. Just right here on the beach, there's all kinds of surf birds to catch. There's halibut here too. So here's the outfit I'm using for surf fishing. Little reel. This one's by Luz. And I have a Carolina rig with a size six Mustad hook and a Carolina rig here with the sliding sinker. Just gonna cast it out here. We just wanna get it right in all that white water where the waves are turning up and stuff. These surf perch will swim with their heads down looking for things to eat. But I don't wanna wind it in and move it like a lure. I just wanna pick up the slack when the wind as the waves bring my rig closer to shore, I just want to bring in that loose line. I want to keep tension on my sinker all the time so I can feel it. Just slowly pick it up, let it sit there for a little bit. I want to give the fish an opportunity to find it. Getting bit. There we go. There we go. Yeah, it's like every cast I'm getting a bite here. Just like the last time I was fishing here five, six years ago. Last, that time I made 10 casts, caught nine fish. This one feels good. A little bit bigger than that first one. Let's see what this is here. Call it another barred perch. Oh, this is a nice one. It's a nice big perch, and he ate that lugworm. I was just fishing Carolina style. There he goes, right there, just off the bait. It's a beautiful perch. He's gonna take off right now with this one. There he goes. The Rose Beach Hotel has been open since 1925. It's run by the tourist Biting it, biting it all the way in, and didn't eat it till it got really close to shore. Let's see what this one is. Probably a barred perch. There he is, right here. There we go. 
another little bark perch. It's a beautiful little fish. It's so easy to do, this type of fishing. It's so easy to do. Great thing to do with the kids and the family. If you want to eat a couple of these, they taste really good. Just make sure when you're fishing here in Mexican water, you have a Mexican fishing license. Go ahead and let this guy go right here. There he goes. Nice one. I don't know what I hooked. Might be a big perch. Just put a fresh lug worm on there. And I got ripped. I wouldn't be surprised, this fish right now feels like a perch, but I wouldn't be surprised fishing in this waters right here. If you caught a halibut or a carina, something like that. Let's see what this is. There he is right here, right on the edge. That's a perch. Nice perch. There he comes right here. And that is a nice big healthy perch. If I was to be cooking one of these up, this is what I would cook up. That is a big, beautiful perch. Another reason to come down here to Rosarito, Mexico, and come surf fishing. You can look at all the people here fishing with me today. There's no place. It's this beautiful area to come fish. You can buy your Mexican fishing license at local tackle stores in Southern California. Also online, the Mexican government sells it there too. And let's go to the tackle box and give you a good look at the gear and museum for catching perks like this. This week in the Tackle Box, I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about what we're doing today in Rosarito. We're really targeting surf perch. We're fishing close to the pier here, just south of the pier. And it's a great area to fish, been here many times, caught lots of surf perch here. And the way I like to fish for them is using light tackle. And anything you have at home that you use for trout or maybe largemouth bass, that's rated for a six pound test line, will work out fine. That's what I have here, a little spinning reel, six pound monofilament, not fluorocarbon, just straight monofilament on the reel, and a light action rod, something I can cast a distance. Eight foot rod, nine foot rod works out fine. If all you have is a seven footer, it'll work too. You might have to walk out in the water a little bit more, but an eight or nine foot rod, light action rod for six pound test works out really good. If there was a lot of halibut in the water, yeah, maybe 12 pound or 15 pound test line. But if you're just targeting surf perch like we're doing today, six pound test line is perfect. Now the rig I'm using is a Carolina rig. It's my favorite rig to use for this type of fishing. And to do a Carolina rig, all you wanna do is get your hook tied on one piece of leader. And the leader can be straight monofilament or fluorocarbon, it's up to you. Most of the time I just use regular monofilament. And then I have a bait holder hook. And the hook you wanna use is a must add bait holder hook. And the reason you want the bait holder hook is the bait holder hooks have little barbs on the back of them and it holds the bait on really good uh, to the hook. And it's really important when you're fishing this turbulent water where all the waves are breaking and these little fish are picking at your bait, you want that bait holder hook to keep the bait on. It doesn't matter if you're using live bait like a sand crab or a lug worm or a blood worm, that bait holder is going to work really good to hold it on. Or if you're going to use a grub. And these sandworms, the gulp sandworms, work really good for surf fishing, but you have to use a bait holder hook. Again, that's why I like the must-add bait holder hooks. It really grabs onto those baits, holds them really nice and secure onto the hook. Now, the Carolina rig, like I said, is just a little leader. Have a swivel, and you can use any kind of swivel you like. I like the black swivels or brass swivel, color swivels. And then you have the line running to your rod, to the reel, and then put a little sinker in there. And the sinker can be anywhere from a half ounce, three quarter ounce. If there's no wind and you're fishing really close, maybe a little bit lighter, but probably half ounce is gonna be the lightest you're gonna want. And then all you do is you run your line through the swivel, tie your knot, just cut off the tag in, and that's the Carolina rig. So you have your, your sliding sinker, your swivel, and your hook. As far as how big that leader should be, I wouldn't go much longer than this. I've learned over the years, I've tried really long leaders, caught a lot less fish, and the shorter leaders I use, the more fish I catch. And I've even used the mustad hooks, bait holder hooks, right out of the package snelled with a 
swivel that I can snap it onto and it's worked good too. Short leader, like six, eight inches has worked out fine too. But this is a nice size, about a foot and a half, works out ideal. And I like that Carolina rig so the fish can pick up the bait, try to swim away, never feel the weight. You feel it on the other end, set the hook and you bring in the fish. This is the basic gear you need for surf fishing. Very simple gear. You guys should all have this at home all the time. And if you don't have the right hooks, just go to your local tackle store and you get your bait holder hooks. They work out really good, made by Mustad. This is a simple gear. Well, let's get back on the water, back at Rosarita Beach Hotel, and show you more exciting action right here at Sport Fishing. Unbelievable fishing. There he comes right here. Got mustad hooks right there, right in his jaw. There he goes. Wave's gonna kick him loose right now. You can watch my rod tip, it's just bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. That's a fish. That's a fish right there. That bounce on the rod tip, the fish. There we go. Just let him bite it really good. He took all of it. Just a beautiful way to spend an afternoon down here in beautiful Mexico in Rosarito and Baja. Catching a bunch of these. I don't know, this is like my ninth or tenth one already. I've only been fishing about an hour. Here he comes right here. That's my fish. Let's see if I can get the hook back on this one. Come on, I'm gonna let you go. Yeah, it's not too deep. If they're too deep, I just cut them off. This one isn't too deep. Oh, it came off already. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and let this fish go. I just got another one. It's unbelievable fishing here in Rosarito. Just so easy. Every cast I'm getting bit. And almost every cast I'm landing a fish. Here comes this one. And they're getting bigger too. This is a really nice one. This is what people go fishing for. Big barred perch like this. That's a big, beautiful fish. Look at this beautiful fish. That's what people want to catch. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and release this fish right now. We're gonna take a little break from the action here in Rosarito. We're gonna to go to the galley and show you how to cook up a delicious fish like this, a beautiful surf perch. This week in the galley, we're here at the resort. Standing next to me is Sarah, and she's gonna introduce us to the chef here. And Sarah, thank you for helping us out today. Thank you for staying with us, and uh, welcome everybody to Villa del Palmar at the islands of Loreto. This time we have Chef Gerardo Garcia, and he's going to show us uh, how to prepare um, a ceviche. What's the name of the fish, Chef? What is the name of the fish? Cochito. Cochito is the name of the fish we are using today to, to cook this Wonderful ceviche. Yeah. And Chef, how do we get started? Okay, we started with uh, 200 uh, grams of cachito, cachito fish, and we put... Dash. Dash? Dash. You said cachito, <laughs> Chef. Okay, we're going to use some salt, some pepper, and the lemon is going to be the first part of it. So you can marinate the, uh, the ceviche. If you guys don't know what the name of that fish is in English, it's trigger fish. If you've never had trigger fish, it's really delicious, great for ceviche. So now we add the onions, the red onions. And then tomatoes. Oh, oh, casi va. 
Okay, you pour the coriander at the at the final step. Cilantro. Cilantro, yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't be ceviche without cilantro. Can we use like a different herb chef in here, or the traditional recipe is always coriander? Because sometimes I use persil. Okay, so the traditional recipe is always with coriander. Okay. Some avocado. Yeah, the avocado. This is an easy dish you can do at home. This is just really nice, healthy dish. Uh, ceviche. A lot of our viewers are always asking for different ways to do ceviche, and this is a nice, easy one. And I love how all the colors are added. Yeah, right. Close to the refrigerator for about an hour. Once it's all mixed together, so it can uh, like embed all the flavors. For the chili, for the pepper, you just use a little bit. So if you don't want everything to be so hot, just use it at the end. Okay. All right, Sarah. Let's try this. This looks good. Okay. You go first. Yeah, thank you. What do you think then? Mm. Nice, right? Lemon, yeah, right. And the chili, the serrano chili mixed in. It's so good. But thank you very much, Chef. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Ben. All right. Thank you, everybody. Let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. So I just made my cast, and all I'm going to do is just wind up slowly. I'm getting bit. There we go. Got him. You see the rod I'm using, it's a long rod, light rod, light action. Again, fishing six, eight pound test line, works perfect for this. If you want to fish braid, you can. Like Spectra. But right now I'm just fishing straight mono. There's another fish right here. Just, oh, I got my worm back this time. But it's just beautiful fishing here, no crowds. I'm gonna see if I can catch one more fish on this worm. Another beautiful perch. I'm already getting bit. I just cast that bait out there like two seconds ago and I'm getting just getting bit. I know for a lot of you, you may think Mexico, why would I drive down there? Do you think it's dangerous? It's really not dangerous. I mean, this kind of stuff. And it, it's, I've been coming down to Rosarita and Sonata for, I don't know, over 30 years, maybe 35 years, doing a lot of fishing down here. And one of the beauties of coming to a place like this, Rosary Beach Hotel, look at the crowd of people here. There's just nobody here. I mean, I'm just fishing by myself, having a great time, catching all kinds of fish. I've already caught over 10 fish and uh, lost a couple of others. And just picking away at these barred perch. And you can fish a variety of baits. For today's episode, I've just been fishing live lugworms. And it's been working out really good. But you can throw the artificials and the grubs, hard baits, all that stuff will work too. We'll film some other episodes for you down here, showing you with a variety of different baits. And right now too, there's a lot of sand crabs. So sand crabs would work good too. But I just love coming down here. It's just so peaceful, it's nice. Uh, the food's so good down here. And I just like the light pressure. There just isn't a lot of pressure. I know a lot of Americans are afraid to come down here, but really, I have a great time every time I come. They're always warm, the people here, and the fishing's just awesome. And there isn't a lot of places in the world where you can make a cast, and every cast, you're gonna get bit. I just got bit again. There we go, I got this one. I have to stop talking and start winding in my fish. 
but it's just really nice. The, the amount of fishing catch, surf fishing down here. I talk to friends all the time up in LA and they'll go fishing a lot and they're lucky they catch a fish or two. This is like number 11 or something. There he goes right there. Just let him go. <coughs> it's just remarkable fishing up here. I'm gonna see if I can get one or two fish before we call it a day. But uh, what I wanna do when we come back from this little break is give you this week's tip of the week. And one of the tips is come fishing down here in Rosarito. But uh, let's take a little break and we'll be right back. For this week's tip of the week, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about what we did today here, Rosarito Beach at the Rosarito Beach Hotel. And this week's tip would be when you come down here, make sure you're using the right size hooks. You want size six hooks, and these are the Mustad bait holder hooks, is what you want to be using. And you want to make sure you bring some lugworms with you. Today I caught every fish on a live lugworm, pinning it on that bait holder hook, and that's this week's tip. You come down here, Rosarito, you're not gonna find the live lugworms here, so bring them with you from your local tackle store and you'll do really good. And again, make sure you have that bait holder hook. And that's this week's tip of the week. The other tip I'd like to tell you is that if you've never been fishing down here, come try and experience surf fishing in Rosarito. You just come down to Rosarito Beach Hotel. It's really convenient. They got security up and down the beach. So you always feel safe here. And the fishing's just great. Either side of the pier seems to work good, but for me personally, the south side of the pier seems to be the best where I catch most of my fish. Well, that's this week's tip of the week. I'm Dan Hernandez, hoping you enjoyed this week's episode of Sport Fishing, and I hope you join us again as we go looking for more of the best in sport fishing.